Hey YouTube, this is Daniel Vanover, and welcome back for another App of the Week. This week we're going to explore Google Street View, an app developed by Google that integrates into Google Maps and allows you to view 360 degree photos on your iPhone or Android. It will also let you create your own 360 degree photos based on your location and then share those photos with Google Maps. It's a really neat way to explore a location or setting without leaving the classroom. So let me switch over to my iPhone and let's get started with Google Street View. So the first thing I want to do is go to the App Store and find Google Street View. And we'll download Google Street View. Once Google Street View is downloaded, we can open it and Google Street View will walk you through the primary setup. You can skip this primary setup if you like. We'll swipe through. We'll tell you a little bit about Google Street View. Click Done. Now it's going to ask, will you allow Google Street View to access your location? It's very important that you allow this because Google Street View plays off of where you are to create and view Street View locations. So we'll click Allow, tap Got It on any screens that pop up, and here is Google Street View. In the top left, you have the three bars where you'll be able to sign in to any accounts that you have. You can also access the settings below your accounts. At the top right, you'll have a search bar, a full screen option, and a My Location. By tapping My Location, you'll see any street views that are around you. So in this area, we have this primary Google-created street view. There are no user-created street views, however. I can zoom out by pinching to see any street views that are available. As you can see by the icon, all of these have been created by Google Maps. We'll zoom out a little bit more, and let's find some user-created street views. Here we have a user-created street view in the Robert H. Treeman State Park. We tap the street view, you'll see I have a 360 degree image that someone has taken inside of this state park. I'm using my finger to pan around this 360 degree view. The really cool feature of Google Street View is the ability to use my phone's gyroscope to move around this picture. I do that by tapping the compass icon in the top right and now as I move my phone around you can see the image has moved, so it seems like I'm actually standing at this waterfall. I can look up at the sky, look down at the water. I am on a virtual field trip at this state park. I can also search for locations that I'd like to view. For instance, if I want to see Parthenon in Athens, Greece. Google Street View will take me to the Parthenon. I see there are three Street View images created by users of the Parthenon and the Acropolis. Let's look at the Parthenon. I'm going to turn my gyroscope on. And I'm looking across Greece using my phone. Another really neat feature of Google Street View is the ability to create your own street views using your own camera. Tap the camera icon and your camera will now become a street view camera. You may have to give access to your camera. If so, simply click allow. To create your images, line up the yellow circle inside of the white circle. You keep moving around till you fill up the entire image with a 360 degree and spherical image. Once you've finished creating your image, you can publish it to Google Street View. 
Google will preview it to make sure that your Street View matches all qualifications for publishing. Then you can find your Street View on Google Maps on an iPhone, an iPad, Android, or a computer. I have a Street View that I created while at the beach this summer using my iPhone camera. And that's Google Street View. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And don't forget to subscribe below so you get updated on new videos. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Again, this is Daniel Vanover with your app of the week, Google Street View. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time.